Hey everyone, welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's another edition of Ask the County. Joining us this morning as always, Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak. Tim, good morning. Good morning today. Sun's shining. It's a yes. beautiful morning. I love it. I love the energy that you're already bringing <laughs> for us on this Tuesday. So we're going to be talking about First Responders Night with the Saginaw Spirit. Where and when and, and what is this, Tim? So 15th Annual First Responders Night. So essentially it's police versus fire. They play a hockey game at 4 o'clock on Saturday, February 24th at Dow Event Center. So they've been doing this for 15 years. Mm -hmm. So these guys are grizzled veterans, now guys and gals. <laughs> and um, so for $17, your ticket gets you into the first responder game at four and also into the Saginaw Spirit game at for 705. Mm. And then there's um, $5 of that goes to a local nonprofit charity. So, and there's a chili cook off in the red room, um, skate with the players at the end of the night. So wow. it's kind of a whole, you could block out your whole evening and have a good time really for $17 uh, ticket. That's not bad at all. What an experience. Yeah. So do we know like what first responders are involved or what? Now, I don't know offhand, but I know they always, um, they always, there's some good hockey players. A lot, a lot of people be surprised at the quality that's yeah. out there. Okay. And then um, they do have some fun as well. So, but it, <laughs> it does get competitive. I mean, the police versus fire and the guns and hoses stuff. Right. And, Oh, it boy. gets uh, it gets competitive. So, <laughs> so for the money raised uh, is going to help uh, a certain cause. Yeah. So every year they pick a different nonprofit. Okay. And so this year they're doing uh, Carter Kits sensory bags. So it's kind of a cool. Um, it's an item that for first respond. Well, it started with the first responders only. Mm -hmm. um, uh, those on the scene, and it's really expanded into mental health and churches and schools, and uh, emergency rooms. To have these sensory bags available for children with autism mm -hmm. and then that's how it started and it's kind of branched over into kids that maybe um, are traumatized at the scene so they're finding that they can you know it's not just for autistic kids they've been able to to spread around the for kids that are that are traumatized they have these bags available for folks and it's uh, been proven to be super helpful. Yeah, what's in what's in one of these Carter kits? So inside the bag you'll find um, there's a sensory toy kit um, a weighted blanket, noise reducing earmuffs, mm. sunglasses, um, a nonverbal communication tool. So it's really, um, and they've all been um, clinically tested. There's a, they got a, a doctor involved, a neurosurgeon involved, and also there's um, a training provided. So for folks that purchase these kits, um, they're there. There's training provided for specifically how you would use it. So okay. it's, it's, um, it's super targeted and super driven towards you know a, a, call, a great cause, and there's 13,000 of these all over the 36 different states wow. and Canada and Bermuda. So they're um, wow, it's Bermuda. really a cool story and how it started, and um, it's really cool a thing that they have, and they've been able to start it here in Frankenmuth. And, yeah, you know, so I think we know it's. Um was it Andrew? Behind there is it? a connection there. So Andrew Keller, a star real estate agent and former uh, WNEM guy, and yeah. so Justin Sievers is a Saginaw Township detective. Okay. And this is how it started with a text message to Brandon Hospick of the fire department and Andrew. They're all buddies, and so listen, you know, how do we get this? Like, um, we need a tool to help us when we arrive at the scene. This kind of was his text message. Mm -hmm. So Andrew hooked up with this doctor uh, and Dr. Ellen Preen, who also calls Justin uh, Justin's son Carter has uh, autism yeah. and that's kind of where it started and so the doctor's um, daughter has autism as well mm -hmm. they got together to create this kit and so they're living their dream of this being in first responders all over I mean, if you go on the website it's it's really amazing how far they've been able to reach yeah so it's really a great cause and you know five dollars so every ticket this week goes to uh, help our Carter's kids and the kid couldn't be more adorable yeah. and he calls them my kids so um, <laughs> exactly <kinda cool>. Carter <laughs> exactly we love it he's got it so um, a great cause and a great families that are involved yeah. in this and um, like you said they've moved it from just not just autistic children but children that are traumatized at the scene mm -hmm. and you know Justin's got stories of him being in the car with the kids and they're playing with the toys or the ear and just being able to calm them down yeah. in a traumatic situation it's um Super heartwarming. Yeah, and very helpful. So any other opportunities people could take advantage of to help out Carter Kits? Do yeah, you know so any? anybody can donate. So okay. this, they, can, they can make a donation. So it's not just the hockey game. So you can donate. They partner with um, local agencies like um, SVRC, so Saginaw Valley Rehabilitation Center. Mm -hmm. um, they partner with them. Those, um, they're a local agency that tries to help folks that have barriers to employment. 
Well, they partner, they actually manufacture and assemble the Carter kits for us locally, wow. so it's kind of cool. So yeah, it's really neat. You have to go buy the tickets specially, so make sure you go to the uh, Saginaw Spirit um, group sales, or either call the office or go online to the group sales. You have to buy a special ticket, so it's not just the normal ticket to the game won't won't get you in. Okay, you have to buy a special ticket, so super important that people are aware of that. All right, very good, Tim. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, this is great. This is exciting. I know, right? And <laughs> and then then that's uh, Saturday, February twenty fourth, yes. four p.m. Four p.m. Before the Spirit game. All right. What a great what a great way to spend your Saturday. I think so too. You know, and uh, the Carter kids are super cool to see in person, so you'll want to see yeah. them too. All right, if you have any questions that you would ever like to ask the county, make sure you send them to us, WNEM at WNEM.com. We'll be right back with much more.